This lesson is about gossiping, bullying, rumours, well, like a whole bunch of stuff really. And it's based on a video called Message Sent. That's a video that was written and produced by a group of young people down in Cornwall. And I was lucky enough to work with them to understand why they created the film and what they thought were the important questions that young people should be exploring. And so I created this lesson with their input and their ideas based on what they thought mattered. I hope you'll find that it's stuff that matters to you too, that it helps you ask some important and interesting questions, um, and that it gives you some ideas about how to maybe do things a little bit differently in the future. So let's start by watching the film. As you watch it, I'd like you just to think about what's happening, why, and how could things maybe have turned out differently. Okay, let's roll the film. Jack and Grace leave. Do you think they're hooking up? No, Grace is just upset. Jack's helping her out. Huh.
Now you've seen the film, we're going to re-watch some of the specific parts of the film and explore them in a bit more depth and try and understand what's going on here and how could things have been different. Okay, so let's start at the end. So at the end of the film, we rewind right back to the beginning and we see that actually things could have worked out differently. So let's just refresh on that bit and I want you just to think about how would things have worked out differently in this different scenario. I saw Jack and Grace leave. Do you think they're hooking up? No, Grace is just upset. Jack's helping her out. Huh. Now we've had a chance to think about how things worked out differently in this instance, I want you to think about were there other times in the film where maybe things could have turned out differently? If someone did or said something different, when were those moments and how could things have been? Okay, we're going to roll the next clip now. This is the bit where the note's being passed in class. Now, reflecting on that clip, I want you to have a think about this from the different points of view of different people in the room. How do you think the bully is feeling? How is the victim feeling? And how are the bystanders feeling? And what could or should the bully, the victim and the bystanders have done next? The next clip's a really short one. It's a conversation between Jackson and Grace, who are the main characters that the film centers around. It's short, but I think it's really important. Why did you do that? You didn't do anything. So I want you to think in your groups now about how else could this conversation have gone between Grace and Jackson? What could Jackson have said or done differently? And what could Grace have said or done differently here? And here's what one of the young people who was involved in the filming thought about this. I really think Jackson, the character, should have supported Grace a lot more through the tough time because he simply assumed that it was her fault rather than listening to her. And he could have stuck by her when the other girls came to confront her, but he let those rumours continue when he could have easily put them to rest. And I think that he really should have asked her if she was okay at least and maybe apologised for assuming the worst of her but he just let her spiral into this kind of pit of despair. And I think he was supposed to be our friend and I just think he wasn't there when she truly needed him to be. Throughout the film, there are several times when there are bystanders. So people who are kind of observing the bullying and the gossiping happening, but they don't actually intervene. So they're just standing by. <laughs> So I want you to think now, is there a difference between a bystander who's watching the bullying happening and the bully? And here's what one of the young people who was involved in the filming thought about this question. Uh, a bystander can be as bad as a bully because they're still hurting the victim nonetheless, but not directly, they're indirectly hurting them by seeing what's happening sometimes and not telling anyone and the first the victim who's being bullied might see them and think oh this might get better but it never does thinking a bit more about the bystander thing why do you think it might be difficult for someone who is a bystander to intervene in a way that might be appropriate what might stop them why is it hard to do the right thing 
And here's what one of the young people who was involved in the filming thought about this. The bystander might not tell because they feel like the bully, if they tell, they might class it as snitching and they might start to bully them and then someone won't tell for them. So they're scared inside not to tell. And finally, on the theme of bystanders, what is the right thing to do? What could or should a bystander do in this situation? What could you do if you were in this situation? And here's what one of the young people who was involved in the filming thought about this question. As a bystander, you should tell someone you can trust, maybe an adult or a teacher, who can help things get better, or just try and talk to the victim and see what's going wrong, and maybe talk to the victim's parents, if they can speak to the bully's parents, maybe to help them. As a bystander, you could also step in to stop it before it comes a problem and help the, the victim, even if you don't know them, just to stop them from getting bullied. Also, as a bystander, you could go out of your way to find out why the victim is being bullied and what's happened. The film ends with this idea, is it true, is it kind, is it necessary? meant by that is it true is it kind is it necessary and how could you apply this in your kind of life <laughs> and here's what one of the young people who was involved in the filming thought about this rumors can ruin friendships very easily i can't number the amount of times that i've heard people in our year breaking up or losing friendships purely because of a rumor Sometimes when people misconstrue, misinterpret or take things out of context issues, it can result in people being mistreated or misunderstood. This easily results in a, in a broken up friendship, purely because someone didn't listen or didn't understand or didn't check the facts. Make your speech truthful because it can be the most important thing in any discussion. Slagging off people can be really fun. You feel better about yourself when you get to criticise someone for who they are. However, it's not kind, it's not productive, it's not helpful, and it's not fair. Again, sometimes pe people misunderstand or take things out of context, things that they've heard, and this can easily result in friendships being ruined again. Whether or not it was deliberate, people can misinterpret things, and slagging off does nothing to help this. This is fun, but it's not fair on the person who can't explain their point of view. Make your speech kind. Gossip can also be fun, but it most likely doesn't concern you. In the majority of cases, you've just, find, you've just found someone who's doing something wrong that you've heard about. Yes, point out things that are wrong in society and stand up for yourself because your voice always matters. But not when it's small pieces of gossip. Because people, again, can be mistreated and misunderstood. Make your speech necessary. Finally, I want you to take a few minutes to think about what you might do differently as a result of watching the film today. Um, we're going to use the structure of stop, start, continue, change. So what's something that as a result of the discussions in this lesson you might stop doing, you're not going to do anymore in future? What's something you're going to start doing, something you've not done in the past but you think you could do in future? What's something you're going to continue doing? So something that you noticed from the discussions today that you already do well, that you're proud of, that you would like to do more of in the future. And then change. What's something that you're going to do, still do, but do in a slightly different way in future? So stop, start, continue, change. Have a think about which of those you can write something for as a result of the lesson today. I hope you found this lesson interesting and helpful. I think the pupils down in Chitharis did a great job putting together a really thought-provoking film and then working with me to kind of raise some really good questions for you to explore in your lesson. It could potentially have churned up some slightly tricky stuff for you, maybe you're worried about yourself or a friend. Uh, your teacher can outline great sources of support for you available in school or locally, um, but I can also recommend Childline, The Samaritans or The Shout Crisis Text Line as great sources of anonymous uh, and confidential support should you need them. 
And remember, if you are worried about yourself or a friend, you can always talk to a trusted adult in school who will be able to support and guide you if you're ready to chat face to face. Thanks so much. And remember, is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? Okay, goodbye.